let's go set up a Hershey 9 tube clock. All right, here we go. Well, there's all the parts there. We're going to put everything into the case. You can see here's the case here. The customer did a beautiful job on replacing the fabric, which was all deteriorated here in the back and on the sides of the hood. Take the mounting screws out here. Look how nice and shiny this looks. Oh wow, how beautiful. Yeah, this is the way it's supposed to look. Well, yeah, these are new cables. Okay, new yeah, cables. brand spanking new. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, replace everything that, you know, should be replaced. Hammer leathers are new. Let's set this up here. These clocks do tend to Requires some physicality to install, move around. They're just so big. Eh, I should be all right. I'm pretty tall, thankfully. Name H E R S H. S. I think it's S C H. Yeah. Okay. Your writing is worse than my husband's. <laughs> What's that? Your writing is worse than my husband's. I know it is. And it's been that way for a long time. We're going to be putting the mounting screws in here. I did actually put on. YouTube after I had finished the uh, you know the overhaul on the clock just put up a quick video on you know the clock itself just the movement the pick front of the movement and you know what you have to go through to overhaul one of these all the steps and not when I was doing the actual overhaul that was just going to be too you know too time consuming but I did a video and then people say well put, you know please put a video up of the clock actually in operation so I said well see what I can do I'll ask the customer But I'm giving these guys something even better. They're going to get to see the installation of the clock. The case is a little bit wobbly. I'm going to see where they put my oh, tools. I didn't have a, um, a little shim or something. Coasters. Oh, did you? They have okay. Still, uh, in, in the bottom there. Yeah. See, we 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 have to yeah. take care of that. Um, let me see if they're still in there. I do have a light here. I have plenty of. Flashlight here. Let's see. I think I have maybe some wood shims here. Okay. If you can't find anything, it's uh, I do have something. So you can see, folks, how the case here is a little too wobbly, and uh, we definitely do not want that. Particularly with a clock like this, with a heavy pendulum, the case will start to rock like this and cause the weights to swing back and forth and then you'll have issues with it actually running. Let's see if I can untangle these pulleys here. You can use these for everything because... Oh yeah, okay. You can break them pile them on top of each other. Even. Of each Let's other. see if one will do They're the trick. Shape, yeah. But, um... Look at that. Perfect. That's only one? Just one. Okay. I can push it more underneath, yeah. That's all you needed. Okay. I'll yeah, kick it more underneath here. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Yeah. And move it a little bit further underneath there. So you don't see it, or at least don't see much of it. Well, if you turn it over. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, it's right on the other side, too. Oh, yeah, it's got something on the side, too, so. 
That's pretty good, right? Okay. As long as it works. Yeah. They might have messed up the actual process. Yeah. You know, I've never seen the tubes repaired in this manner. Uh, and, and I've encountered, you know, several clocks that have cracked tubes. And I've never really known what to do uh, until when I've seen this. It actually works well. You can hear the... Actually, perfect. It fixes it perfectly. So I will keep that in mind for any future repairs. In YouTube, uh, out there, you folks out in YouTube land, if you do clock repair, take a look at that. Putting a clamp, and these tubes do frequently uh, get cracked, and when they do, it, it really affects the sound. And now you can see, by putting just a regular hose clamp on there, it fixes it. But it's got to be a small one. It's got to be a small one, correct. Right. It has to be oriented in the right direction, too. We'll, we'll see how that works. So I'm going to put the rest of the tubes in. Get these all untangled here. I cleaned up the pulleys here, too, and actually lacquered those, so they're nice and shiny. Not too shiny, though, you know. We want it to look like an old clock, so to a certain extent. Now, we're going to adjust these hammers, and you do that by just loosening the clamps here, where the, the string gets clamped on the levers. And you want to leave the hammers about a 32nd or so of an inch away from the tubes. Because if they rest against the tubes, it actually will affect the sound. Well, I hope the camera's not pointing up at the ceiling. Because I'm looking up here, it's trying to... Yeah, hard to adjust your head. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Like I said, in the end, I might get home and say, God, I didn't get any footage that's worthwhile here, so that'll be that. And we'll see how that does during normal operation. Okay, with these clocks here, we're going to put the shortest tube to the right and then as they descend to the left they get larger or longer this is the way Hershey clocks are set up not all clocks are like that some are different organize these tubes in here we'll find the shortest one I'll check the strings on these two to make sure they're in decent shape. Okay. Yeah, I did. I, I heard one sort of clunk down there earlier. Yeah, let's go around the side here. And this is the shortest one as far as the chimes go, so we're going to put this one up here. The chimes actually hang over a little nub here on the back of the bracket. And we'll adjust this hammer. You can see it's actually laying right against the chime. The next longer one, longest one, I should say. Yeah, it looks like you did have to put a lot of these uh, clamps on a lot of these, I should say. Yeah, well, it should sound a lot, a lot better now.
Looks like the clamps are, are perfect. There's no interference at all. Could be the next longest one. So far, the strings look like they're okay on these. Oh, uh, did you? Oh, okay. I didn't. Okay. I, didn't, I know that. I remember from when I was here last that some of that did require a replacement. Yes. I was sort of planning on doing it myself. Wow, you were, you were to clean them, you were to polish them. Okay. But I'm glad you did it, thank you. Sounds pretty. Yeah. longer than a few minutes later. In later years Hershey changed the design of these and did away with the clamping system and just put knobs with string going through the knob. All you do is just turn the knob to affect the length of the string. It was much easier. And that's what you're doing now? Just yeah just Affecting the length of the, of the, you know, how far the hammer sits from the tube by adjusting the length of the string and then clamping it down. So this is the, the knob or not the knob? This is the knob, we're, this is, no, this is not the knob. We're, we're loosening a clamp which has a knob on it. Gotcha. And then this, the string sits in the clamp and then Later versions, the string actually wraps around the knob, and as you turn the knob, it either takes it up or, or, or lets it out. Okay. Well, we'll go with that. We'll see what it sounds like, and then adjust it if we need to. I'll put some light down here, folks, and we'll show you what the tubes look like. I can tilt my head down here. You can see the arrangement there. The strike tube is usually the longest, you can see. That's on the right hand side. All right, let's get the pendulum, put that on. Let you un we'll unveil the, uh, the pendulum here. That's what it looks like. Wow. Lacquered, so it'll stay this way for a very long time. Very nice. Yeah, if you're familiar with Ball and Ball, but they are, uh, yes. yeah, they are one of the premier places for metal restoration and metal reproduction here in Chester County. Good people to work with. Uh, as far as I know, yeah, for many, many years.
So what I'm doing now, folks, is I'm checking to make sure the cable is tracking properly. Since I had the cable all let down off before the trip out here. Looks good. We don't want any overlapping of the cable or any kind of tangling going on. This is the heavy one. Ew. That's the chime. You need an extra weight there to drive all those hammers. There you go, folks. That's the Whittington. We'll adjust this one right here to get a little bit closer. That sounds good. That's the Whittington. Mm -hmm. Let's try the Canterbury here. Rather Westminster. Not sure what chime you prefer. That's the one that most people seem to like. It's less My busy. My husband does does them all periodically. Okay. Right. Just, every now and then he just comes in and turns them on. Okay. Yep, we just had Canterbury. That was Canterbury previous. Canterbury and Whittington, to my ears, sound very similar.
the hood on here. You like the way it sounds? I do. Good. Did you check the distances from the side? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You may have to. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you want to, it probably, you probably won't notice the difference because even if it does rest against the tube, the, the leather on the, the, this is why you had the leather on the front. It, it, it actually will keep it from, from really right. affecting the sound greatly. Okay. So I did just this the way I set it up is to try to keep them off the tubes uh -huh. a little bit, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They can be adjusted to a certain extent with these knobs here. I don't think it's really needed because they, everything, all the notes sound good. Mm -hmm. But this is what adjusts the tension. You can make it more forcefully hit gotcha. the tubes, but you don't want to put too much strain either on the movement because it may stall out. So there's a sort of a fine line you have to walk there. So I'm not going to mess with those. They appear to be fine. Everything sounds nice. Well, like I mentioned, sometimes, you know, do the stretching of the string and all, you know, they, they can, they may need periodic adjustment, but unless you hear, you know, you're bothered if, it, if you buy it, if it sounds very, very different. I mean, it's something I can always do when we come back for an oiling every three years or so. Yeah, I see yeah. how they work now. Yeah, it just clamps I down. Yep. Loosen, the string can yep. be pulled that way or that way yep. and clamp yep. back down. And, and same thing with this okay. power strike one there. Yeah. My lifetime. There you go. Well, let's set the time on it here. Now, with these Hershey clocks, you may or may not be aware, but we can actually just move the hour hand. Get so, the, you got to get the moon out, right? Too. Yeah, I don't even know what the moon is, but I can look it up on the phone. That's why we have our smartphones here. Let's see, I'll set it to right now 11 30, and I'll go let's around. See what the phase of the moon is. <laughs> since I've had to set a moon dial. I don't remember what, where it was. Okay, today is the October 12th. Hmm? See, the full moon is next week. Next week. Days. Okay. Eight days ago was new moon. Okay. Uh, I'm going to suspect it's going to be somewhere in around here. Uh, what you can do is you can look you just open the door uh, on the day of the full moon if it's not right up here. Mm -hmm. Just. Oh, you can do it by hand? Yeah, just give it a oh. turn. Just like that. <laughs> here I thought my husband had some magic powers. No, no. I'm going to, I'll move it up to Where is this? somewhere There's around there. There's two full moons on it? Yeah. Uh, Either side. This is the way, you know, you, know, you can. So this is full moon right here, of course. And then the other one at the bottom. The other one's at the bottom. Yeah. So it's 60 days. 29, 29, it's right here, 29 and yeah, and a half days for the calendar to take place. Okay. So, and some of the clocks actually have a different, this is a moon, it looks like a female moon there. And this is a female moon there too, so <laughs> there's like a lipstick on it. I didn't notice that, but look at that. That's, it has, definitely has a female look to it. I will put it, uh, I think it's about right there, somewhere in that range. Okay. Pretty, now pretty that close. I know how to fix it, I'm yeah. gonna let my husband tell me. It's there you go. Hours. <laughs> Look at that. It is 12:32. Mm -hmm. And um, if the pendulum is slower, fast, I just um, yeah, and nothing has changed. So you had a lower, lower, slower. Yeah, lower Turning slower. it up will speed it up. Okay. I, I was doing adjustments as I was testing it, so you. Should be pretty close. You shouldn't have to do much adjustment at all. But sometimes. Now that it's all oil, it might, it might not have much friction. It might go faster. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. That's why. That's why I always adjust them. Nick. I tested this probably for at least a good two, three weeks. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, because I, you know, these clocks, you know, there, there's a lot of issues with them. So you know, you want to make sure that they're thoroughly tested before you return them. Where do I put near this? Wind them up evenly. Now let's get the hood back on here. Step stool for that. Well, I better not because I could fall off. Oh, These things, okay. hoods are so heavy. I just want to. Yeah. It will slide. Yeah. 
This one isn't isn't really as heavy as some of the ones I've dealt with. Well, I'm sorry. There's no screws on this, right? No. This will just slide in. There may be latches on the back. Some of them have latches that just flip down. Some don't. That's it. There they are. Beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. Nice. You see, that's Tiffany and Company down there on the bottom. That was sold to Tiffany. Right. Although it's a Hershey made clock, and you right. can see there's the crown. That's their symbol. Did you get a chance to do any research on Hershey? Did not. Okay. Not. There's that's a lot of information online about them. Okay. I wrote the name down so we have it right. So yeah. Let's, let's go that there. Cool. It's locked. You. Yeah. Looking good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're yeah, very nice. Now, and have you set, you haven't set any chimes? Just It's start, chime, start and it's just on. set to Westminster now. It's on Westminster? So it's on Westminster, Westminster. Westminster but of okay. course you can, the only thing that I ask is you, you know, but you don't switch it while it's chiming. You know, you let, let it stop, let it st yeah, do, do its when thing. And then we let it do its, its numbers. You, yes, and you can actually, like I just did, if you want to have to, you have to go around quite a bit or back, uh, just move the hour hand. Yes. The hour hand is actually tied to the snail, so it'll go, and all you got to do is just set the hour hand to whatever you need to do, and then just then do the mind, minute adjustments for the minute hand. Mm -hmm. And you yeah, always go forward with the minute hand on that. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the things that Hershey is in, sort of almost unique to Hershey is that you can actually set it just by... You're moving the hour hand so you don't have to go all the way around and around and around right. if you have to. Right. Okay, folks, another clock restored and it's, uh, it's actually happily running back in its, uh, its, its home. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for additional videos of, on clock repair and clock setups. So I hope to have some more in the future, in the very near future. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.